Hi, friends. Uh, I got mail. <laughs> Let's check it out. Oh, no, I didn't grab my glasses. Well, I never learn. I'm going to have to, like, start getting one of those things that you, you know, and you wear them around your neck. I'm going to end up with them on top of my head and around my neck. Okay, so I placed an order. This is kind of a uh, Amanda made me do it. She didn't really, though, right? Like, this is all my doing. But... I believe that you should credit people. Cute little bag, box. And, do, do, oh, what could it be? Let's see, that's on there. This is on here. That's on there. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Probably they're all here. It's ink! That's what you need to buy in the middle of 30 inks, 30 days. It's more ink. This was on sale. So I pretty much had to. But let's take a look at what I got. And swatch. And swatch. So here I have a cheap paintbrush. Let's see. Let's see what you can see. I'll put this here. Here. And then I have some paper there. You know what I need? I need an ink pet. And cool. It's go time. So, I actually have a swatch card of this. It was from a sample, and I have seen enough inks be slightly different that I'm just going to go ahead and swatch it. Now, dry our brush off. I have a meeting coming up before too long. So, we got to try and be quick, okay? None of your usual lollygagging, friends. Oh, you're beautiful. I wouldn't have bought this if it wasn't on sale, in the sense that right now, I'd have bought it. Eventually. I think... There's something in the tines of this. Okay. in the wrong water so this is pilot iro shizuku tsukiyo that's my best approximation of how to pronounce it in japanese apologies if it's not very good It's described as a blue-black, but to me, it's, it's just blue, <laughs> dark blue, I'll give it that, but I 
a beautiful dark blue. So that's the first purchase. It's all shook up. Mm -hmm. And come on, put you there. Well, that's not a safe space. Look at there's those. Is that just a bubble? Let's stick your finger in it, Maria, and find out. Okay. The next bottle we got is, hmm, what's this unmarked box? It is a Van Ness original called Hissy Fit. This caught my eye when I was on the Van Ness website for something else. I don't remember when. And then Manda got it and swatched it. And I was like, oh, well, yeah, that's happening. So that's why I say it's kind of Amanda made me do it. How do we do this? How does how does one write? I think that's that's it. I made letters. I'm like every time I'm like, oh no, there's a tiny drop of ink left on the on the nib. I better try and save that. You kidding me, Maria? Come on. Like that, I'll go ahead and do that. Cause I can. That's more reasonable. This to me looks like a straight fuchsia or magenta. I don't know if you consider those colors different, but just amazing. Oh, this is the color my hair should be. Like some of my dye hair dye makes it this color and it's the best when it when it's that color. When it's not that color, it's sad. And that's all that's available these days is sad. Okay, and then then we come into the journey that we're on, which is that I thought I don't have any orange or brown inks so maybe I should find a good one so we got samples of orange and brown and uh, a one that I just thought would be pretty <laughs> let's start with the pretty one first which implies that orange and brown aren't pretty obviously that's not what I'm trying to imply I will just straight out say it. No, I'm okay, this is. Um, yep. Boop. Not enough ink. We'll try. Nope. I did say it wasn't enough ink. Did 
This is laying it on thick. Almost disturbing, not gonna lie. This is by the brand that I struggle to say their name correctly. Roll her, roll, roll her, and cleaner. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Simone, if you heard that, because you sometimes come over here. You can, you should go listen to her videos again. Oh, heavens, heavens. I knew these would be different. And they are. But I think this might be like Gummy Berry or Yamabudo or something. Okay. Now we have... So this is Solferino, in case you can't read my writing, which I wouldn't blame you because it's not very good. This is Roller und Klingner Solferino. Get out of here. Not you. Just the stuff on my desk. The thimbles and... And then I've got two browns to look at. I really don't like brown, so I couldn't go crazy. I got... I didn't get a sample because this is a... This was basically as cheap as a sample. I got Jacques Herbon or J. Herbon Cacao du Brésil and... Robert Oster smoke screen. Let's start with that one. Nothing should be shimmery. I don't think. Oh gosh, please don't fall off. Hmm. This seems like it might be an unlubricated ink. See, the problem is I can look at this and say, yeah, that's a nice brown. But then ultimately I'm thinking, but it's still brown. Why would I want it? And I feel bad. So that's smoke screen. Interesting. Maybe I can view it as uh, actually maroon. Very writer's bloody, but not. And then uh, Arban Cacao du Brasil. It's not scented. Well, dipped that too far. Mistake. Unfortunate.
If you're wondering, did I forget how to write midway through writing that? The answer is yes. Yeah. I have to just dip this too much. I'm going to take it apart. That's fine. Oh, I might be able to like this brown. It looks black. Ooh. I forgot to do the swatch on Tamoya River with my other one. Oh gosh, so many bad things. Mm -hmm. Next, we put the lid on. So those are my two browns. Then we have a series of oranges. First up is Hiroshizuku Fuyugaki. Fuyu, I think, is a type of persimmon. I wonder if it stands for that. Because persimmons are orange. Hachia and Fuyu, if I remember correctly. Dang it, Maria, you keep dipping it too far in the water. I mean, that's a good orange, as far as oranges go, right? If ever an orange oranged, look, you can't be there. You're in my way there, okay? You can keep my elbow on you. That's pretty. That is actually a very orangey orange. Okay. I think it was like, I don't want one of those weak oranges that's not oranging. I want an orange to orange and mean it. If I'm gonna go for a color I don't like, it better be bold. <laughs> then uh, we've got Pannonia Roca Como Fox Friend. I think this just said one of those names. Well, here we go. Maybe named after that one thing. 
There's a fox friend in that, right? Le Petit Prince. These are some oranges that are definitely orange. This orange almost reds. <laughs> mm, that's pretty cool. I don't love orange like as a color in general. Maybe partly because I associate it with the fall, which is one of my least favorite seasons. But it is a happy, like, look how bright it is, you know? Come here. Come over here and hang out with the browns. Hang out with the raisin girls. Uh, then we will do orange zest. Yep, not lubricated. That was a horrible Z that I wrote, but I am over it and I'm sure you are too. I got orange on my finger. Orange, you glad about that? I actually just finished a two-hour training session at work. That was great. I really enjoyed it. But the next meeting I have is a one-hour training session. <laughs> and there's this part of me that's like, maybe somehow it's going to be like the same sort of training. <laughs> and I'm like, how... Sort of awful would that be? Just because you develop, like, you know, your brain is full for the day. I'll tell you what, this does not look like my usual swatching. Oh, I forgot that. Well, I remembered in time to do my. I think if you want three oranges that are actually relatively the same, I may have found them for you. And the last orange, but certainly not the least orange. I can't, I mean, I don't know, maybe it is actually. What if it is the least orange? Is, I think one of the oranges that I was like, oh yeah, that's in a pretty orangey orange. KWZ grapefruit. <sighs> There's a bubble. <laughs> I did that wrong. Oh yeah, there it is, the smell of vanilla. If you like the smell of vanilla, you owe it to yourself to find a color of um, KWZ ink that you love. Because they sent their inks with vanilla. Let me ask you a question. Put in the comments. Do you cross your Z's or Z's, whichever you call it? 
And if so, did you learn that in math class? So now this is maybe the most red orange. Who am I kidding? They're all the same. They're all orange. Here's something great for you. I no longer remember the order in which I did these on the paper. I'll watch the video. So, yeah. oh, taking hits of that. Okay, here we are. Which one did we not put on the paper? This one. Real quick, we'll do that. My water looks like tea. I definitely abused this paintbrush and it was cheap and it is actually holding up to it pretty well. So, here's what we got today in the box. We got Pilot Edo Shizuku Tsukiyo. Here's this. So lovely. I need to move these out of the way of the light. Tsukiyo. We got the Van Ness Originals Hissy Fit. We got a sample of Rocher and Klingner Solferino, which has a, a green sheen. We got Robert Oster Smoke Screen. J. Erban Cacao, Cacao du Brazil. And then these are oranges. Iroshizuku Fuyu Gaki. Oh, I didn't write the name of the. I'm going to write Pannonia on here. How would you cap that, Maria? Good job, girl. Mm -hmm. Pannonia. Roca. Coma. Fox friend. Robert Oster. Orange zest. And... KWZ grapefruit. My light is going dim. Apologies for that. I can't turn on an extra light right now. Um, these two yellows are really, or oranges are really similar. The two in the middle. Then this Fuyugaki is slightly pinkish, or like leans. Just a touch, a touch, a teeny, teeny touch like apricot. And this grapefruit is maybe a little bit red. Here they are on Tomoe River paper. And I was going to see if they looked like anything, but I think all my cards are... These are pretty close. So, Solferino or Opportunity. This is probably fairly close. And then the other ones... I shouldn't have anything like because that was the reason I got the samples. So, 
Thank you for hanging out with me today while I open things and swatch things. I hope you are having a lovely day. And I will see you again soon. Bye.